Let's begin our discussion for the question of today. It's a microbiology question and the question that was asked in the AIMS May 2018 was this. Human herpes virus 8 is not associated with which of the following? And the options were capsaicosarcoma, primary infusion lymphoma, multicentric Castleman's disease or adult T-cell leukemia. Before we discuss the answer to this question, it's very important to discuss a topic the oncogenic virus, which has been repeatedly asked in the AIMS BG entrance examination. So let's begin our discussion of the oncogenic viruses. The first oncogenic virus that I'm going to discuss today is the Epstein-Barr virus. It's the most important oncogenic virus that can be asked in any entrance examination. Epstein-Barr virus is human herpes virus 4. It belongs to the family herpes viridae. And since it belongs to the herpes viridae family, it's a double-stranded DNA virus. It's also enveloped. Now, what makes EBV an oncogenic virus? Any oncogenic virus is oncogenic in nature because of presence of viral oncogenes. And the viral oncogenes associated with Epstein-Barr virus are EBNA2, LMP1, and EBNA3C. These three genes can be asked in your future examination, so remember them. Now, another favorite question of examiner is what conditions and what Cancers are associated with Epstein-Barr virus. There's a huge list of diseases that has been associated with Epstein-Barr virus. And let's discuss the important ones. And the question can be framed which of the following is associated or which of the following is not associated. So diseases that have Epstein-Barr virus as a factor in the pathogenesis of the disease include oral hairy leukoplakia, X-linked lymphoproliferative disorder, also known as a Duncan disease, nasopharyngeal carcinoma, Hodgkin's lymphoma, Burkitt lymphoma, extranodal T-cell lymphoma, post-transplant lymphoproliferative disorder. As you can see, all these diseases involve lymphocytes. That is expected because Epstein-Barr virus is a lymphotropic virus. It enters the B lymphocytes via the CD21 receptors and mediates lymphoproliferation of these B cells and uh, lymphocytes with the help of these viral oncogenes that further implicate a EBV in the pathogenesis of such lymphoproliferative disorders and leukemias and lymphomas. The next oncogenic virus that I'm going to discuss causes cervical and anal cancer. This virus is hum HPV or human papilloma virus. It's also a double standard DNA virus like the herpes, human herpes virus 4 Epstein-Barr virus. However, it's a non-enveloped virus. Now, how hum HPV causes cancer and what are the viral oncogenes and oncoproteins that are associated so two proteins are associated in the pathogenesis of cervical cancer by hpv these are e6 and e7 e6 inhibits the p53 tumor suppression gene while e7 inhibits the retinoblastoma gene and this is implicated in the pathogenesis of cervical and anal cancer by hpv other conditions that are also caused by hpv include enogenital warts and the common warts it ha has also been implicated in the pathogenesis of oropharyngeal cancer and laryngeal papillomatosis so a question can again be framed which of the following is associated or not associated and this this is the list of conditions that is associated with HPV, with HPV being implicated in the pathogenesis of these conditions. Now, HPV has multiple serotypes. Certain serotypes are called high-risk serotypes as far as pathogenesis of cervical cancer is concerned because they express E6 and E7 proteins in much higher amount and hence have a much more tendency to cause cancer. These high-risk HPV serotypes are 16 and 18, while low-risk serotypes are 6 and 11. They are more commonly implicated in the, the anogenital warts. They more commonly cause the anogenital and the common warts as compared to cervical cancer, while 16 and 18 are more implicated in cervical cancer. Now, since HPV has been implicated in pathogenesis of cancer, we now have vaccines in order to prevent against HPV. There is a bivalent, tetravalent, and a nonavalent vaccine. The bivalent vaccine, the bivalent vaccine is called Cervarix. While the tetravalent and the nonavalent vaccine is called Gardasil. These are the brand names of these vaccines. The Gardasil tetravalent protects against 6, 11, 16, and 18. While the nonavalent, and this has been asked in the AIMS May 2000 
एम्स नवंबर 2017 एग्जाम दैट अगेंस्ट विच सेरोटाइप इज एच पी वी नोना वेलेंट वैक्सीन इफेक्टिव एंड लेट्स रिमेंबर दैम दीज आर सिक्स इलेवन सिक्सटीन एंड एटीन लाइक एच पी वी टेट्रा वेलेंट एंड द अदर सीरोटाइप विच हैव ऑल्सो बी इम्प्लीकेटेड इन पैथोजेन ऑफ सर्वाइकल कैंसर थर्टी वन थर्टी थ्री फोर्टी फाइव फिफ्टी टू एंड फिफ्टी एट दीज आर द एक्स्ट्रा सीरोटाइप्स अगेंस्ट विच एच पी वी नोला वेलेंट वैक्सीन अफोर्ड्स प्रोटेक्शन Having discussed EBV and HPV, now let's move on to other oncogenic viruses, the HIV and HTLV-1. HIV has been implicated in the pathogenesis of anal and cervical cancer like HPV. It's also implicated in primary CNS lymphoma. In fact, primary CNS lymphoma occurs hundred times more in HIV positive patient as compared to general population. HIV, when it was first discovered, and Kaposi sarcoma was considered an AIDS-defining de illness. Hence, it was thought that HIV has an implication in Kaposi sarcoma pathogenesis. Later, it was realized that it is a human herpes virus eight or Kaposi sarcoma herpes virus, which plays a much more role in role in pathogenesis of Kaposi sarcoma. Now, let's discuss a line which has been let's discuss a paragraph which has been taken directly from Robin. It states that the Kaposi sarcoma herpes virus. or the kaposi sarcoma human virus infection is also linked to rare b cell lymphomas in aids patients such as the primary infusion lymphoma and the multicentric castleman disease so we can see that kshv or the human herpes virus 8 is associated with kaposi sarcoma and that's it's given in robins uh it's also associated with castleman disease and primary infusion lymphoma well htlv1 is human t lymphotropic virus 1 it has been implicated in the pathogenesis of adult t cell leukemia now having discussed this the next the question becomes extremely important that human herpes virus 8 or kaposi sarcoma her, herpes virus or kaposi sarcoma human virus is not associated with which of the following kaposi sarcoma primary infusion lymphoma multicentric castleman disease as you can see is associated with all these three conditions these three conditions are associated with human herpes virus while adult t cell leukemia is caused by htlv1 and this becomes the answer to the question this question also underlies the importance of reading your standard textbook as questions are sometimes directly taken up from lines this is a paragraph that i have directly taken from robins hi so i hope you like the video if you like the video please subscribe to my channel for further such questions from aims may 2018 share it among your friends who you think might benefit from these videos and also listen to other videos that i have made thank you and have a nice day